This is Tesla Engineering. Uh, we're in the lab and we've been working on some stuff. We just wanted to share it with you. Um, we're trying to make some ventilators out of some car parts so that we can help out the medical industry without taking away from their supply. As Lars said, we've been working on developing our own ventilator design, specifically one that's heavily based on Tesla car parts. We want to use parts that we know really well, we know the reliability of, and we can go really fast and they're available in volume. So, so here's our kind of high level schematic design. You can see that all the red parts here are a Tesla vehicle parts, so we've used a lot of those. I'm going to walk you through the first prototype we've built. So this is the hospital grade supply uh, of air that is going into a mixing chamber, which is a car part that we use in our uh, vehicles. This is where the oxygen and the air mixes together, and then it passes through a wall body, uh, which, use, uh, which is used to uh, create the waveforms, the pressure and the volume waveforms. Uh, then the air coming out of this wall body goes to a bunch of sensors. So this is a flow rate sensor, this is a pressure sensor. Uh, it then goes through a filter and goes into the patient's lung. And then carbon dioxide is put into that air and then goes through the exhale pipes and goes to a set of sensors uh, and then goes to the exhale valve, which is used to throttle the pressure of the lung. So you always keep a positive pressure on the lung, so which helps the COVID-19 patients to uh, breathe, keeps their lungs open. This system is powered by the Model 3 infotainment system. Up here at the top, we have a Model 3 center display touchscreen. This touchscreen is powered by the Model 3 infotainment computer in here which controls Model 3 vehicle controllers. These vehicle controllers talk to these precision variable valves on this single piece manifold, which we designed to be easy to put together. We also put in on the bottom a backup system. So with an O2 tank, our backup battery, and the air compressor, you get 20 to 40 minutes to move that patient where you need to, to give them the care that they deserve.